Hello friends and welcome back to Saucer Swap. Today we're going to cover a very important feature of our decks, and that is staking LP tokens in farms to earn yield. Let's get right into it. Before we get started with yield farming, let's connect our hash pack. If you are unfamiliar with this process, you can find step-by-step -step instructions in the first video of this DEX tutorial series. Next, we'll navigate to the farm page. Here, I can see a list of token pairs that are receiving a weighted percentage of emissions from the SaucerSwap farm contract. Looking at the columns from left to right, Featured is a list of token pairs with yield farms. APR is the annual percent rate on a principal investment. It is a function of weighted sauce emissions, the price of sauce, and the staked liquidity. Liquidity represents the combined value of LP tokens staked in a farm. Finally, earnings is user-specific and tracks the sauce accrued through yield farming. If I want to filter for specific farms, I can navigate to the Search Crop Circles bar and type in what I'm looking for. To stake my LP tokens, I will click on the appropriate farm. For example, I'll click on the Sauce HBAR farm to expand the interface. If I don't have the LP tokens, I can click on Get Sauce HBAR to be directed to the liquidity page for that pair. But since I already have USDC HBAR tokens, let's stake those for now. I will expand the USDC HBAR farm interface. As I mentioned, I have already provided liquidity to the USDC HBAR pool. So today, I will stake my USDC HBAR SSLP tokens in this farm to earn a 1,206% APR. It's important to note that this APR has an inverse relationship to staked liquidity. Next, I will proceed to click the Stake button and will be prompted to input the amount of LP tokens I would like to stake. I will select 25% and the field will autofill. Next, I will click Stake to submit the transaction. I'll approve this transaction in my hash pack. Note, I do have to pay a small gas fee and network fee in HBAR. I can see that roughly 257 USDC HBAR SSLP tokens have been removed from my hash pack. This is because they are now staked in a smart contract. As displayed on the interface, I can see that I currently have roughly 257 LP tokens staked representing approximately 5,827 USDC and 1,156 HBAR tokens. Note that these proportions are arbitrary and do not reflect market prices. As can be seen, this translates into $151.83. The total dollar amount staked across all farms is displayed in the top left corner of the interface. Below Earned, I can view an approximation of my accrued sauce, based on the current APR. This sauce will accumulate over time. I have the option of harvesting whenever I so choose, which transfers that sauce to my hash pack. It is gas efficient to minimize the frequency at which I harvest. However, I will do so now for demonstrative purposes. Simply click on the harvest button on the right hand side of the interface and approve the transaction in hash pack. I can verify that this worked by checking my sauce balance. If I want to claim sauce from multiple farms at once, I can click the Harvest All button in the top right corner of the interface. This will queue a series of transactions for me to approve in Hashpack. There is no lockup period for staking in yield farms. To unstake my USDC HBAR SSLP tokens, I simply click Unstake, enter a value, I will select 50%, submit the transaction, and approve it in my hash pack. If I check my wallet, I will now see that my USDC HBAR balance has increased by 128. It's worth noting that if I have staked 100% of my LP tokens in a farm, those LP tokens will not appear in the My Pools section of the liquidity page until I have unstaked any number of them. 
Yield farming is an excellent strategy to navigate an uncertain market. SaucerSwap offers the most seamless farming experience on Hedera. If you are enjoying this DEX tutorial series, feel free to join our Discord server to connect with the growing Hedera DeFi community. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at SaucerSwap Labs for more updates. Until next time, our very best to you from your friends at SaucerSwap. <laughs>